Dr. Papa Kwesi Ndum says that uh, the National Identification Authority needs to be resourced to carry out uh, uh, the mandate of identifying Ghanaians. How critical is the national identification um, system to an election? Because now we've seen that we have to go and put everybody or mass people together, um, uh, con converge at a certain place, uh, deploy machine technology, etc., before we get people registered. We could have done that all that through a national identification system. We have had uh, worry whether my son was 18 or not. Yeah, thank you very much. I seen this issue came up, and the issue said it will help to some extent, but it will not solve all the problems. They indicated it clearly. Uh, yeah. Educate me. Yeah, that's they said that yes, getting the data. Why would you not solve identification, all the problems? They need more information probably than what we actually require. We'll be, they, we'll be having the on data the they will need on in terms of the requirement will be different from that. So they said it will help to some extent, but it will not be able to satisfy fully what they will need. So mm. that means that. It will support to some, uh, but not completely solve it. So they are the people who run the elections, and that is was what uh, uh, they, they, they stated some time ago. National identification, how would it help? Because, well, I know, I know, for example, they will not take the, the registration on a constituency basis <laughs> in national identification. national identification. You will not be identified based on your constituency. Yeah, I think. And then people, there will be movements of people, etc. But once you belong to the database, they know that really. They can authenticate certain things like your age, oh, yeah, whether you're a Ghanaian or not. I mean, those yeah, are I basic things. I think it's that all, it will 100% solve that problem. What does EC mean? Ghanaian of 18 years age and that birth. Period. It, national identification, where all of us will register, whether foreigner or anything. It will solve the EC uh, the, uh, what target group problem. Okay. But let me tell you, see, I say the EC keeps talking double language. When President Kufo introduced this thing. Introduced what? National Health Registration. Yeah. You mean National Identification? Identification. identification. So, uh, look, Authority. Any time mm. I think of National Health. Mm. The ID. EC kicked against. It was EC who made it impossible for President Kufo to implement that project. No. Asabi. No. You, was mean, in you mean it would have been? It was going to be imp uh, constituted to be used to implement the election, or perhaps uh, we were national identification. Undertake the election. National identification. And the purpose was for the election. And EC said they were responsible for registering people, so they will not side with uh, national ID. That made it difficult. If not so. You, you don't think oh, some 20 names years down the line, we are coming to what President Kufo's vision was fit. We are coming there. So you see that President Kufo, wise man, man of vision. He saw this thing long ago. Uh, and Afarijan and co, a whole uh, EC, didn't see it. So from 2005 to today, we, uh, how many years? 10 years down the line, years that the vision line. Is now coming to us. Yeah. So we should always listen to wisdom. We shouldn't wait until it goes and to the court. And wisdom is always coming from the MPP. Oh, yes. <laughs> it came from President Kufo. Experienced president. <laughs> I, eh? I get your point. I uh, think they, they never said so the national identification was going to be used But I think, for I think here we have established uh, that, 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 it's it's that, solve, that it not is not going to satisfy oh, everything, but it will solve. It. To some extent, saying, it will solve hundred percent. No, ah, you need mm. you need Ghanaians who are eighteen years. You've gone to the national master database. Everybody's name is there. If your name is not there, you are out of the yeah. arena. That will it means that you can't authenticate it, yourself onto the main e register. Yeah, no. That will not be easy. Mm. Easy problem. Yours is to go to well, national ID and register. So, so, yes. so, 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 so become the easy okay, board. Knows I'll, what I'll easy uh, requires to okay, register. Okay, gentlemen. So, 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 I want to create a scenario yeah. here. So, it yes. means that now that we're doing the registration, you just go. You said my name is Ohineba Charles. They just punch national ID. Okay, you are here. You are 18 years. This one, and then they put you in a constituency. That's all. In the database. I think I think it, it, it will be it will be it will yeah. be regional wide. Yeah. 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 Wherever you are, you can. It will not solve everything. But, but it will still mean that we have to authenticate yeah. somehow. Yeah. You have to go yeah. and 
No, they didn't. Do, how do you call it? Validation. Your party likes validation. Validation. It's my party. Ghanaians or my For party. example. Okay, Ghanaians. <laughs> it's, a, it's an English word meaning something. For example, national <laughs> identification, they use, the sh they give short. Mm. We use biometrics. Well, we can't make it biometric. No, that is what I'm saying. It, start, it started we with a on what is Unless we okay. rechange. Mm. Yes, but the thing so that that is why the they are saying is that, 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 that you might have the name, but on the day of the voting, your biometric data is very, very critical. Okay. So it could be that. It could also be the card. So let's block. look at this. No, um, you could that is what. No, that is what they, they don't say. have a problem. No. They, are, they don't know. EC doesn't know. Doctor so Mahamudu Baumia, he's a running mate for the New Patriotic Party. This is your he's told a gathering of students at the Accra Polytechnic, and this happened last night. That government directed two hundred and fifty million dollars of total proceeds from one billion uh, dollar euro bond it issued in twenty fourteen to a private bank account, and. Um, he said the government has turned around to borrow that same money and they've tried to commercialize it, uh, the activity of the money in itself. Uh, but government has come out with a release to deny the claims. It says uh, the money itself was for the 2014 born, etc. And there's some of the things that uh, Dr. Baumia said, who's, uh, uh, who is uh, raising concerns that they didn't even have a chief executive, even though we had an acting one. And so they didn't see the reason why the money itself had to be transferred to the Ghana Investment and Infrastructure Fund, or the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund. Uh, what do you make of this, that uh, yeah. your, your, your deputy well vice, vice presidential yeah. candidate has been? Oh. Mm. You, you know the issues, don't you? You have been following the issues, don't you? Uh, yeah, I've read the issues. I've listened to Baumia, and I've listened to the Minister of Finance, and I have reflected over government policies and laws in the past. What's your conclusion? My conclusion is, uh, is, is, is a local content money laundering. <laughs> Your because conclusion is what? Local content money laundering. I give you my money, and then I come and borrow the money. That you give the money to the Ghana Investment Infrastructure Fund? Or the Ghana no, the money has gone to a private bank. L the summary, the money has gone to a private bank. That's a summary. Yes, then the, the private bank loans it to you, lends it to you. And you pay interest with the with the with the people's tax money, and then you say it's business. That's the summary I've given. So the details is with Bromia. There are laws of the Bank of Ghana which kick against this. The government of Ghana itself, because anytime money goes to institutions, the accountants and some of the institutional leaders, they take the state money and invest in treasury bills. They used to do this. I don't know if they're still doing it. Put it in treasury bills. Then when people then come, the, the due date of the money, they withdraw the money, take the interest, and then use the, the state money to do what should be done. And the government banned it. That no state institution should do that. Should do that. OK? So you're so saying the GIF in itself acted wrongly? Yeah. It's the Minister of Finance who has to answer this. Because the GI, the uh, GI infrastructure GI. fund can invest and can do that and can do that, but that is not the area to allow to invest. You okay. don't give your uh, state money and tell you go back and b uh, lend it and then pay interest on it with the state. Let money. me get this the act that established the GIF enables it to invest, but this level of investment because of what the regulation uh, of the yes, Bank of Ghana is? Yes, we don't go above mm. that law. All right. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Your government is deeply in trouble no, on this. No, it's not in trouble. Because this gentleman, whatever uh, he says, according to the critics, uh, he, could uh, he should have he's stated always vindicated. No, he should have stated la that this law, that law, that law has been infringed on. Then we refer, because the country is regulated by laws. So you don't just make an open statement and think that they want to use it for campaigns or what have you, and that ends it. He was a deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana. So he knows and what he should have quoted. About. One, mm. one, by law, we in parliament pass the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund Act. I'm OK, 877. <laughs> and section three of that act clearly indicated that the money that the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund 
could be invested to earn interest. That is the one that is dealing with the Ghana invest, uh, Investment. Financial Administration Act, hmm. Section 21.2, allows that public funds could be invested. So it is within the law. Three, the Ghana Investment uh, Infrastructure Investment Fund is operational because it has a board. It, is, it has an acting CEO. So the government in 2014 went for a euro bond of $1 billion and ceded 250 to Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund. And they intend to invest it. So what is what law has been breached? That should have been what Baumia should have indicated. That based on his assessment, this law has been breached. And therefore, I'm calling the government to order. <coughs> Not big statements. But I can see him doing that because he wants to cover up for the statement he made that he was a Muslim. And I said Muslim. Oh, that's my first conversation. Him. I think with Pascal. Maybe, maybe he wants a cover up. That is what I'm saying. Two. Maybe he thinks that the redenomination they did in 2007, oh. which he has not accounted for, we doing the same. No, you know, the president and President Mama and the government said they will not borrow from Bank of Ghana, even during the election period. Because most people said that the government, the president, and therefore the government cannot do anything without borrowing from bank of the Bank of Ghana. As we speak today, zero borrowing. That means that the President Mama is on track with whatever he has promised to do. So Baumia should come out and indicate to us which law has been breached and therefore it is unlawful oh, or illegal. Politician. Two. Oh, you haven't ended. Two. <laughs> Using the money for campaign, you think uh, everybody who works is NDC, said that we can do whatever we know. We are accountable and we believe that money do not win election. It's about message, one, the caliber of the candidate that you have, marketable candidate. Two, is the strategy. If it was money, 2008, NDC wouldn't have won election. So we have a very marketable candidate. We have the, 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 the message because accounting to the people to give us clear indication that we have a message for the people of Ghana. Strategy-wise, MPP cannot come close. They don't mm. know. Mm. So we don't need sure $250 million dollars to win elections, no. But uh, at the end of the day, is it a matter of that government is just trying to be defensible when it shouldn't be defensive? Because as yeah. far as we're concerned, uh, if you look at the release by the finance minister and then you do other literature reading, you yeah. could see that, well, they may not have uh, the arguments that you make that they are not supposed to invest in such and such instruments, but rather make other sorts of investments, which it is mandated by its law, backed by its law to undertake. But I still have some salient points to look at. Um, you know, what is happening now is uh, uh, something, you know, I listened to Bishop Obinim preaching. And he said, everything is in the Bible. What you go to the Bible, the Bible says, don't eat pork. The same Bible, you go somewhere, it says you can eat pork. This is what is happening. So the finance minister has gone to the Bible to find out that local uh, money laundering is inside. But we have to have gone inside the Bible and has found that local money laundering is not good. So who that is, is what is happening. So who is the verses now, in the chapter? The laws are in the Bank of Ghana. Is the, the, if the, 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 the uh, 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 finance minister hasn't equally exhausted his, his line of action. But you see, Alaji Bawumia is a Muslim. No doubt about it. He's a Muslim. He's
he went to Mecca not long ago. And if you are a non-Muslim, you can't step foot there. If you step foot in Mecca, hey, master, it's haram. It will be a disaster for you. And you see, uh, Elijah Baumia is still saying things, and then people will kick against. From day one, 2008, to date, whatever Elijah Baumia has said and was kicked against came to pass. So you let's wait. Give a few days, and we'll see where this one two will go. I don't think so. Okay? So they've always said so. Yeah. When they connived with Wyoming, when we said the chief of staff defended the whole party, the whole government that was supposed to defend state resources, said, no, 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 Wyoming didn't chop anything. At the end, they themselves took Wyoming to court. And they are playing games. We said Jida. They said, no, 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 no. State authority, that is supposed to defend state resources. Kicked against. Ran away from policing state resources. Then ran, turned around to say, hey, people have chopped the Jida money. It's unpack. So if you see in NDC, what happens is that, uh, what do they say? Monkey, they went bamboo, they chop. So some of them don't know until when we say it. So, so that's what you're doing. You're an, you're an effing. As Baumia has said it again, it will come to pass. Why did Baumia say that it's not true? Yeah. It's a convention in this country that NPP, when we choose a Christian leader, we our second is a is a Muslim. The whole country is, is religiously involved. We have national holidays for uh, Islam and Christianity in this country. And you think religion is not an issue in this country? <laughs> we shouldn't respect Islam. Yeah, yeah. Why do you give Islamic holiday and you don't want to, to but promote who has said that to Islamic Mr. Nobody, leadership? Or you are you saying see, what Baumia has see. said. But that is the argument they are fighting with Baumia, and it will come to pass again. Yeah. Oh, what we're talking so about no, so Ghana, two Ghana infrastructure investment, so but now yeah, we ask really So let me summarize. Yeah, please summarize for me, because that, my time is That up. was in response to the comments you made. But let me <laughs> summarize the 250 million. You have this money and you are running to IMF. Now the issue is uh, infrastructure fund takes the money to a private bank. The infrastructure fund goes, government goes to borrow the money and pays interest. That is the summary of it. No. Is that the investment we are talking about in the laws? It's not, it's not is that true. what the laws are saying? Mm. No. Please conclude for me. Yeah, I, have to I, end just the show. I just want to <laughs> say that. <laughs> uh, but we should come with the laws that. The ah. government has breached oh. in respect of that. You didn't quote anything. So you are saying but you should come with bet better and better? Better particular, not just ah. big statement. <laughs> Two, he just spoke, I just touched it small, he went straight. Yeah, Muslims have holidays. Who gave those holidays? President Rollins. Rollins. Rollins he was gave. a Christian. Yes, he recognizes I'm okay. it. That's the point I'm That's raising. It. So what Muslims want is the services. Two, between 2001 and 2008, the Accra Sports Studio was where pilgrims were lost. And even to toilet, how to restrooms were not available. Most of them will come and stay for months. A Christian has provided Hajj village with now, all now, the now facilities. That's where we've, so we've really Ghanaians, we are not dealing with religion in terms of elections. You are we saying want, that shouldn't come into our politics. We want services. It should come. We're the president Mama is providing an international airport in Tamale, and this will help reduce the travel time from Tamale to Accra to perform the pilgrimage, said that flights can take off from Tamale direct, direct to Mecca. He's a Christian, but he believes that Muslims need to be serviced. So what Muslim so needs it is matter provision of services. Yeah, but so let's say if you must, have a Muslim who have not been able we to have make sure that Hajj we now need a leadership. Hajj pregrimage. Look, I'll bring you a document. I have to end the show because now they've changed I'll the subject of discussion. I'll I'll you, when you, we're, <laughs> we're, we're now discussing I'll bring religion you a document in politics. on the Tamale International Airport that Kufo initiated. The I'll National Road Safety Commission by Rollins. says it will connect to Kumasi. People who ignore footbridges on highways. As a deterrent to others, we'll be very much uh, looking at this very subject. But my guest for the morning, uh, Adams Mutawakilu. Galos, how are you? I'm great. Thank and thanks very much for passing through the show. He's a member of parliament for Damango. And then also, we have had in the studio Boniface, uh, Adankbila, yeah. 
and uh, Gambela. Gambela Dagbela. Tutor. Hmm? Tariqa Tutor. Uh, Shukran. <laughs> okay, so now he's a member of parliament for Nagdam. And uh, thanks also for passing through. We are grateful. But sometimes you're very diabolical, I think. No, no, no. I speak the truth. Because right. there are so many things people don't know. <laughs>